Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. A few weeks ago we spent some time with Epic TV athlete Stefano Gisolfi in Arco, Italy. He was working what was, at the time, his project, One Punch 9A+. So Stefano, we've walked up the hill, parked the cars, walked up the hill to this crag, and uh, it's outrageously overhanging. Yeah, it's like 40, 45 degrees overhanging. Okay, and what's it called? What's the name of this place? Uh, Lagel is the name of the, of the town, the village nearby. Okay. So talk me through these really hard routes. So this, which is the Adam Andre line, the one you did the other day, the 9B? I start from uh, here, from the center line, mm -hmm. and up to the half the route, and then you go on the right, the easier part, and then if you go straight, is the possible king line, maybe 90 plus or 90. We Going know. through that black section, kind of up. Yeah, the that. black section is like AC route after 9B, so it could be really hard. And then your route is this one here? My route, yes, is the um, it's left, uh, start on the white, and then uh, the hardest part is from the third to the fifth bolt, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very hard. Cool, man. Well, listen, we're going to get set up uh, so we can film you. I'll leave you to it. Uh, good luck, man. Oh, thank you. So just to let you guys know what's going on, we've previously been at another crag where Stefano climbed a very easy sort of 7A plus line just to warm up. We then walked here and he's about to have a go at like this 7C thing, again, well within his ability just to warm up. So there's going to be one of us up on the ledge up there and one on the ground filming it as he leaves the deck. We have no idea if he's going to climb this. He's been working it a while, so we're hoping that it's going to be sent today. But we're just going to sort of sit back and watch and see what happens. So Stefano's just had his first proper go on the route. Uh, got up to his high point actually, kind of like three-ish, four, three, four bolts in. That's where the crux section is, really low down on this route. So powerful. Um, so yeah, so he just busted out his first go, then worked it up to the easy bit again. So yeah, he had the top section pretty much dialed, I reckon, from, from looking at it. It's just finding the power to get through that bottom section, which is tough. Stefano's just got on, giving it another go, but didn't quite get to his high point from the last time. Uh, he's saying his fingers are quite sore up there, and I can believe that. The holes are tiny, tiny, tiny holes, and it's so overhanging, this cliff.
Okay. Yeah. Stefano, unlucky today. Didn't quite go, but I'm sure it's going too soon. Just talk me through uh, what happened up there. I had uh, just uh, one good go. I did my high point going to the two finger pocket. And uh, then I had two unlucky attempts, but uh, now I changed my feet beta, so now I think it uh, will, be, will be easy to reach uh, again the, the two finger pocket, but then it's harder uh, than expected. Is it frustrating to have a project like that? You have to keep coming back to, uh, and failing is sort of an inevitable part of, of the uh, process. I didn't try a lot, uh, so it's not frustrating yet. And then uh, I have uh, quite uh, close to my home, so I think I will try it with uh, any expectation. And when uh, I will do it, I hope I will do it. Uh, uh, wouldn't be uh, frustrating, I hope. Awesome, man. Well, it was so cool watching you climb. We'll try to climb that thing. Came so, so close. Uh, please let me know when you, when you finally send it. Okay, I hope to, to call you soon. <laughs> That's Thank man. you very much. Thank you. Congratulations to Stefano for sending the route and we can't wait to see if he does some other of those projects on that crag. Thanks for watching, see you soon.